Hello kids, today we are going to read a story about Pooh where he discovers all about gravy. Oops, it's gravity. Why don't thing falls up? Huh, such a good topic. How can thing fall upwards? Let's read. It was a beautiful autumn morning in the hundred acre wood. Brightly colored leaves danced on the trees as a crisp breeze sent them fluttering down, down, down. Who was still asleep when, plunk, he fell out of bed. Oh my, I was having a, such a sweet dream. But I guess it's time to get up and get dressed, he said. When Pooh stepped outside, he found his welcome mat missing. Someone has taken my mat and left a big pile of leaves instead, he said. He was looking for it when... Thunk! 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 A shower of icons fell from the tree and hit him on the head. Oh, bother, said Pooh. I think it's time for something sweet. Pooh climbed a honey tree and filled his pot with honey. Pooh loves honey. But as he began to climb down, his shirt got caught on a branch. Oops, said Pooh as he tried to tug his shirt free. He can do anything for a pot of honey. Oh no, he said as the honey pot fell to the ground. Honey pot, here I come, cried Pooh as he landing with, landed with a thumb. Pooh looked up to see Piglet coming through the hundred acre wood. Oh dear, said Piglet. Are you alright Pooh? Yes, said Pooh. But have you noticed that everything is falling down around here? Wouldn't it be nice if things could fall up for a change? Pooh decided he needed to think about this some more. So he and Piglet went to his thinking spot to try and figure out a way to fall up. If only things could fall up, I wouldn't fall out of bed. I wouldn't get hit on the head with icons. I wouldn't fall out of trees, Pooh explained as they walked. When they got to Pooh's thinking spot, Pooh scratched his head and sang a little song. Down, 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 down to the ground. Why do up things fall back down? That's a nice song. Pooh had an idea. He tried to stand on his head. Things looked strange upside down. When Pooh saw Christopher Robin, it looked like he was floating in the sky. What are you doing? asked Christopher Robin. Looking down at Pooh, I'm trying to fall up, said Pooh. Maybe if I'm upside down, I'll fall up instead of down. What a brilliant answer, is it? Oh, Pooh, you can't fall up, said Christopher Robin. Pooh leaned his head over his honey pot, opening his mouth wide. Now, what are you doing? asked Christopher Robin. I am trying to pour the honey up into my mouth, explained Pooh. You can't pour honey up for the same reason you can't fall up. Gravity, said Christopher Robin. Pooh looked at his honey pot. But Christopher Robin, there is no gravity in the pot, only honey. Not gravy, gravity, said Christopher Robin. It's the force that keeps everything on the ground. If there was no gravity, things would be floating all around. Oh dear, said Pooh. The earth is like a giant magnet that pulls everything to it, Christopher Robin explained. Gravity is why whatever goes up, comes down. Everything has to come down, Pooh. But not everything has to go up. Boing, boing, boing. Unless it bounces, said Pooh, watching Trigger bounce by. He has a magic tail that helps him to bounce all the time. 
Yes, said Christopher Robin, unless it bounces. But still, it must come back down as soon as gravity starts pulling it. Pooh, Piglet and Christopher Robin continued their walk while walking through the hundred acre wood. Pooh was so busy looking up at all the things that fall down. He tripped on a stick and fell down. When I fall down, it's not because I wasn't looking. It's because of gravity, right? asked Pooh. Mm, well, maybe it's a little of both, said Christopher Robin with a smile. Pooh had never really thought about why things fall down before. But once Christopher Robin explained it to him, he saw gravity at work everywhere. At the sandy pit, he watched Roo practice jumping. Pooh, look at me, Roo said, exact, said excitedly. Up and down, up and down, up and down. It was making Pooh dizzy. But no matter how many times Roo went up, he always came back down. When Pooh and Piglet walked past Owl's house, they saw a book fall from Owl's window. Sorry there, Rabbit, said Owl. Would you mind throwing my book back up? Rabbit threw the book up, up, up onto a branch above. Hmm, thought Pooh. What goes up must come down unless it gets stuck. As Pooh and Piglet walked away, they heard a thunk. The book had fallen to the ground. I guess gravity even works on the stuck things, said Pooh. Oh, bother, exclaimed Pooh, passing by Eeyore's gloomy pal place. He looked at Eeyore's fallen house of sticks. Gear was trying to stack them up, but the sticks kept falling down. It's a much better house when the sticks stay up, said Eeyore. Sometimes a bit of rope and a friend can help fix a gravy, um, I mean gravity problem, said Pooh. He and Piglet tied the sticks while Eeyore held them down. After helping Eeyore, Pooh and Piglet walked on until they ran into Christopher Robin again. Hello, said Christopher Robin. Want to watch me fly my kite? He ran and with a gust of wind, the kite lifted up, up, up. Does gravity work on kites too? Pooh asked as the kite came crashing down. Yes, it does, said Christopher Robin. Pooh was getting tired. He and Piglet started for home, but they didn't get very far. All this up and downing is enough to make a fluff and stuff like me sleepy, said Pooh, as he sat down under his favorite tree and began to snore. Pooh was having a sweet dream when something very sticky dripped down on him. Trip, trip, trip. It was honey from the beehive above Pooh's head. At this very moment, Pooh was glad that things didn't fall up. Mmm, gravity sure tastes good, Pooh mumbled as he drifted back to sleep. Bears loves honey a lot, right? So does the Pooh. Hope you all enjoyed the story. See you next time with another wonderful story. Bye-bye.